come through for you. He's the same now as then. You may not know how. You may not know when. But he's going to come through one more time. Yes, he will. Somebody ought to take faith. Somebody ought to take hope and say he's going to come through. I feel him coming through. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, praise him. Come on. Loosen your praise up a little bit. Give God the glory tonight. Ah, oh, hallelujah. He's the same now as then. And he'll do it again. He'll do it again. He'll do it again. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to preach again tonight. That's what I'm going to preach tonight is again. Turn with me, if you will, to Job 14, 7. We had church this morning. The Lord met us in this place. If you wasn't here, you ought to get a DVD of the service beginning to end. And let's see what the Lord will do for you to help you. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel something in the air tonight, don't you? Oh, come on now. Hallelujah. Oh, it's tongue-talking weather in here. There's springs of living water in here tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For there is hope of a tree if it be cut down. Have you ever felt like you've been cut down? Everything didn't go right. I got news for you. Things are not going to be perfect. Even when you come to God, it's not going to be perfect. Sometimes we cut, get cut down. If it be cut down, there's hope of a tree. If it be cut down, that it will sprout. I told you I was going to preach again tonight, right? That it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. There ain't no time for quitting in church. Jesus is coming and you better be ready. No time to stop now. No time to get discouraged now. No time to cease now. Oh, though the root thereof wax old in the earth and the stock thereof die in the ground. Oh, I like these but God type things. And I like this one where it said, yet. Yet through. The scent of water, just the smell of water. Whew. It will bud and bring forth boughs. Give me that picture of a, that stumping tree there. It will bring forth boughs like a plant. Can you see what I'm seeing? That ought to make you happy. That old dead, dry stump because, oh, I'm just about to get happy. Just because there was a scent. Not a whole lot of water running, just a scent of water. It shall bring forth uh, branches, bows, it's boughs. It's going to bring forth a tree. My God. If it, it will, come on, somebody say, it will sprout again. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Amen. You may be seated. Brother David Inman didn't know it the other night. Brother David sits right up in here. Normally, or he's changed a little bit since COVID, I think, but Brother David comes to church. He, and he is to, to the church, and, and he showed me a, a picture. Of, he showed me this picture right here. And uh, he didn't know it, but I was going to preach about, I was going to preach again tonight. And I thought, man, I like that. I said, send that to me. And he sent it to me, and for some crazy reason, I deleted it. I don't know. The devil made me do it, I guess. But then I got to thinking. I, it, was, it was time for me to bring it up back here for them to get it on the screen and, and, and I called two or three people, and I finally got to, finally, Brother David called me back. I said, send that to me again. I tell you, I'm preaching about again tonight. 651 verses have the word again in it. Or it's actually in there 672 times, more than one time in some of those verses. All but three of the writers of the Bible use the word again, as we know it in the King James Version. I think the word again must be pretty important. You think about it. If there was never an again, I'd have ate one time and starved to death. I wouldn't have had but one Diet Coke. One bag of Frito-Lay potato chips. One Snickers bar. But I tell you what, in my diabetic state, when I have those insulin lows, I get me a Snicker bar again. I get me a Diet Coke again. Come on, I, I don't know if that means much to you or not, but think about if it was, if, if we never had a chance to say again, never do anything the second time. Never eat again, never sleep again, never come to church again, never preach again, but I'm preaching again tonight. You don't have only one chance to get things done. Again means once more. It means returning to a previous position or condition or a former state another time. It means additionally again. It means more. It means more over. It means two. It means also. Now, Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came again to Jeremiah seven times, it said. It came again to me seven times. And then uh, again, the Bible said, the word of the Lord came to me saying, it came to Ezekiel some 35 or 40 times. Aren't you glad God let you hear the word one more time? Aren't you, glad you, aren't you glad that God let you hear the word again? Oh, my God, I'm glad I got to hear some preaching again and again and again. I'm here again so I can hear some word again. I'm here again so I can pray through again. I'm here again so I can get my feet on the rock again and get it firmly settled. I'm praying for some of you that God will give you a root and a grounding in this truth. That's why we're here tonight is to get the word again. Jesus said, again, I say unto you. You know, others had invented light before Thomas Edison, but the light that they had was short-lived. Give, uh, give me that bulb up out there, that, uh, that light bulb, that, that picture. But Edison was able to produce over 13 continuous hours of light with a cotton thread filament and filed his first light bulb patent on January 27, 1880. Later, he and his researchers, I'm told, found that the ideal filament substance was carbonized bamboo, which produced over 1,200 hours 
of continuous light. The first large-scale test of Edison's lights occurred September the 4th, 1882, when 25 buildings in New York City's financial district were illuminated. His teacher said he was too stupid to learn anything. He was fired from his first two jobs for being non-productive. As an inventor, Edison made a thousand unsuccessful attempts at inventing the light bulb. But when a reporter asked him how did it feel to fail a thousand times, Edison replied, I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. You know what he did? He tried again. And in the morning, he tried again. And the next day, he tried again. And he tried again, if you will, a thousand times. My God, I'd hate for it to be dark in here. I'm glad there's light bulbs in here tonight. I'm, you know why? Because somebody got up and did it again. Somebody didn't quit at the first problem they had. I'm preaching to somebody. Don't you quit because you got disturbed. Don't you quit because you got discouraged. You get up and you go again. And then when you get up, go again and again and again and again. Woo. Praise him a little while. Winston Churchill was defeated in his first effort to serve in Parliament. He became prime minister at the age of 62. He later wrote, never give in. Never give in. Never, 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 never. In nothing great or small, large or petty, uh, petty, never give in, except to give in to convictions of honor and good sense. He went on to say, never, 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 never give up. In other words, try again. Hallelujah. How many times did Abraham, uh, Abraham Lincoln lose his races before he finally become a senator, if you will, and then the president of the United States? You know why? Because he got up and did it one more time. He did it again. Somebody clap your hands again tonight. Michael Jordan said, I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. I'm not necessarily one of his followers, but this is what he said. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over again in my life. That's why I succeed. My God, you can fail, but you don't quit. You don't stop. You get up and you go again. Henry Ford said, by the way, that's the best truck you can buy. That may not be anointed, but that's, that's me, okay? <laughs> Henry Ford said, failures provide the opportunity to begin again more intelligently. Sometimes we know what causes us to fail and sometimes we know what causes us to get sidetracked. But I tell you what it does teach us. It teaches us how that we can more intelligently try again. Oh my God. There's some things in this life that doesn't work. Sometimes things in this world that you know doesn't work. It sends you down the wrong path. But you got to get up and come to church one more time. You got to clap your hands one more time. You got to praise the Lord one more time. You got to get up and try again, again, again. Jonah said in Jonah 2, 4, I've skipped a couple of verses here for time's sake. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight. Ooh, I like this next one. Yet, there's this yet again, right? Yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. In the, one time he said, in the belly of hell cried I. And the Bible said, and you heard my cry. Come on, if you'll just look again to the altar. 
if you'll just look again to praise, if you'll just look again to the holy temple. Come on, you'll come out of the whale's belly. Come on, you'll come out of the ocean. Come on, you'll come out of your sinking sand if you'll look again. I'm just trying to tell somebody you ought to try it one more time. Try to get on top of the mountain one more time. It's worth it again. What did I tell you this morning? You got to get up more times than you get down. And if you get up one more time than you get down, you're going to get up on that great getting up morning. Woo. Jeremiah 18. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought his work on the wheels. And when the, uh, the vessel that he made of the clay was marred in the hand of the potter, amen, he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the, to the potter to make. Can, oh, yeah. It seemed good to the, whatever it seemed to the good to the potter, he made it again another vessel. Whew. Give me a picture of a, of, 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 a, of a potter's house or a potter. Look at that. There's a marred, that thing was marred in the potter's hands. Come on, sometimes you can be in the hands of God even. Sometimes you can be in church and problems arise and you fail as I preached about this morning. Come on. But God's able to bring you out of your failure condition. He's able to bring you up. You know why? Because the, 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 the vessel was marred in the potter's hand. But you know what he did? And when, then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought his work on the wheel, and it was marred in the hand of the potter, but he made it again another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make it. Show me this new vessel back there. I'm telling you, God's able to take a, 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 a vessel that's been marred, and if he gets it back on the potter's wheel, he can turn it, and he can twist it, and he can bake it, and he can try it and work on it. That's why you need to keep coming to church. That's why you need to be around the right people. Let me tell you something. Your greatest thing to serve in God is being around the right people, praying and seeking God and living for God. You get yourself out among the world, you're going to do as the world. Come on. Come on. You're going to do evil communication. The Bible said will corrupt good manners. But come on back to the potter's house. Let him get his hands on you again. Come on. I said let him get his hands on you again and he'll make you again. A new vessel. What did we see coming out of that old stump a while ago? A new tree. I'm looking around this place tonight, and I've watched people over my past. I've, I've almost been in this church all my life. Come here when I was a year and two or three months old. So I've watched this congregation grow from young to old, from 70, 75. It's been 75 years now, as we know. And I've watched people come and go, and I've watched a few people fail. But I've also watched them come back and get back in the potter's hand. And, oh, yeah. You know what he did? He made them a new vessel. Same clay. Same vessel, but he made it again a new vessel. Woo! You're not going to be able to walk out of your old body, but God can take that old body of yours and make it a new vessel again, again, again. Woo! Oh, yes. I like this verse. John 3, 3 said, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, that's Nicodemus, that is, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, 
except a man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time to his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we are in the born again business around here. That's the business that the church is to get people born again. Brought out of sin. Brought out of drugs. Brought out of alcohol. Brought out of the things of this world into the spiritual life. You've got to be born again. First Peter 1.23 said, being born again not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Being born what? Again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed. When you were born the first time, you were like David said, conceived in sin and shapen in iniquity. Why? Because it was corruptible seed. It was the seed of the flesh that you were born out of. And that's why we have to repent and get back to God. Bottom line. Because we were born of corruptible seed. There wasn't but one that was born of a virgin, Mary, and that was Jesus himself. But you, oh Lord, I'm here, I'm on, I'm here on this again thing. But you know what the Bible said? He died and rose again so that you and I could have life and that more abundantly. I'm glad I'm serving that again Jesus tonight. I'm glad I'm serving that again God tonight. He rose again so we could walk in newness of life. I was walking and praying in the prayer room this morning and I looked around. I, I didn't get them all but I uh, maybe next time, I don't know. But I looked and here was several men that they, I knew they'd come out of the deep, dark world of sin. And I, I watched their lives. And you know what I was seeing in the prayer room? I was seeing them with their heads down praying. Some maybe walking around praying. Hallelujah. You know why? Because God let them be born again of not corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed. Hallelujah. Show me that first picture right there. Brother, brother, show me that first. Look at this. You know who that is? Can anybody know who that is? In, in, oh, Brother Danny Barber. I think Brother Danny may be at Brother Martin's church tonight. Brother Danny Barber, who is that girl? Is that, uh, is that you or a Christian? Okay. Oh, my Lord. It don't look like Brother Danny today. Come on now. Take a look at where you've been and where you're going. Show me the next picture of Brother Danny. Look at here. There he is. Hallelujah. Show me one more picture of him, can you? Look at there. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you. Come on. Born again. Born again of water and of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Is that all you got on that one? If give me the next one. Give me the next one. Whoever that whoever the next one is. Look at that. My Lord. Who in the world is this? A prisoner. Have you got one more of him in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, no, you don't have the other one. You don't have the other one. Oh, he was strung out on meth on the other picture I got of you. But you know what? Look at here. Look at here. He's standing here tonight. Praise God. Born again. Don't tell me God can't change you. Don't tell me God can't. 
do something for you. Hallelujah. Not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. Not of corruptible, but incorruptible. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And the Bible said, therefore we are buried, Romans 6, 4, therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Verse 6 said that our old man is crucified with him. Hallelujah. Give me the next picture. Who we got up here next? There you go. Any, nobody in this place hardly could tell who that is, can you? Take a wild guess. Anybody want? No, don't, don't guess. Who? Brad, who said that? Brad Blackard. You knew him when he was that rough looking? Whew. I'm scared of that. You know what I did? I walked back yonder in that old building. It was the second little step up floor where the prayer room is now. If you hadn't been back there, there's a rise. You ought to go back there and check the prayer room out sometime, by the way. That's a pretty good place to say amen. Right there. But you step up back there at that step up. Brad was sitting on that first row, I believe, first seat in that second section of that old building. That old building was narrow and long. This one. Wide and fat. I mean, wide and and wide. And and so here, here it, Brad was sitting back there, and I walked back there. I don't know what I said. Brad, do you know what I said? I think I said something like, God's got something good for you. You don't have to beat them to death if you go talk to them. You just tell them God's got something waiting on you. Woo. You know what? It wasn't long till we baptized Brad in the name of Jesus. He got the Holy Ghost. Let me see the other picture. He got the Holy Ghost talking in tongue. Woo! Come on. Not born not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible seed, born again. Born again. Mm. Therefore we rise to walk in. Romans said, Paul to the Romans said, we rise to walk in newness of life. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm in this church. It's a glorious church. I wasn't. The what now? I didn't join. I was born. I had a new Hallelujah. That's what a new birth will do for you. It'll bring you out of drugs. It'll bring you out of alcohol. It'll bring you out of sin. It'll bring you, oh, yes, it will. It'll touch your body. It'll heal your mind. Paul, I remember, I guess it was the first time you came here. I don't know if it was the first time or not. But, but she brought you here, and we sat right. You, you want to show me where we, we sat that, that Right up yonder, it was on that first pew, wasn't it? And I began to tell Paul about getting baptized in Jesus' name. He might not have been a bad boy. Pretty bad boy. I wish I had a picture of you then. No, he said no. Huh? Yeah, probably to scare everybody out the door. I'm here to tell you, but you know what happened? I told him about this water baptism in Jesus' name, this getting born of incorruptible seed. We baptized him in the name of Jesus Christ. He got the Holy Ghost. Now he's sitting here on an apostolic pew tonight living for God. You know who's going to be first in the prayer room normally? Paul's going to be in the first in the prayer room. Woo! My God, I'm here to tell you, God's able to change you again and again. Come here, Craig. I'm going to pick on you tonight. You big boy, you can handle it, can't you? This is my helper right here. If I need something done, him and a few more around here, just whatever. I'm going to call you about 3 in the morning. No, I'm kidding. 
but he would. You'd help me. Yes. I watched this boy being raised in Christian school. He could get into more stuff. <laughs> uh, it wasn't your daddy that taught you that. It was your mama, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> But I'm telling you, a good boy, but he could get into some stuff. And he was raised. He knew what was right. Isn't that right? Mm. He was raised, got out of school, got away from God. But you know what? It hadn't been long ago. What has it been? Has it been a year yet since you prayed back through? Almost a year. Almost a year. Oh, God brought him down to the bottom, if you will. Or he brought himself down. Is that a better way to say it? Brought himself way down to the bottom. His wife calls me, wants to know what to do. I'm trying to believe God with him and the family and Craig because I love them all. You know what? He winds up getting back to God. Make a long story short. Hallelujah. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Born again. Born again. Born again. Born again. Woo. Hallelujah. This is real, folks. This is real. This is real. That's, did we son, come here? I don't think we got you on them pictures. Did we get Jamie on them pictures? I want to bring my Lord. I don't know how we missed it, Jamie. I'm sorry. You okay? We all might be. They were bad. I don't know. I don't know how we missed it. It's their fault, though. Right? It's always somebody else. It's me. I'm sorry. I had them. He sent them to me. Thank you. Maybe we'll show them again sometime Maybe not. when there's a bigger crowd. <laughs> I, I just waiting on your bigger crowd to show you. But Jamie Potts, raised here by his grandmother, Sister Mary Good. Let me tell you a little something about Sister Mary. You know, I don't know if you ever knew this or not. Sister Mary was a wonderful lady, but she didn't have a way to come to church when she lived over between here and and corners, as we can say, California. Corner, cor yeah, yeah, between here and there. Anyway, she didn't have a way to come, so people would pick her up and bring her. And, and uh, so we had, somehow or another, she got a car. And the first night, she didn't come to church when she got a car. <laughs> but she started coming back to church, of course. <laughs> Jamie was raised by his mama right here, if you will, around these areas. His grandmother keep bringing him back to church. But Jamie got farther and farther away, wound up in prison. Is that okay? Wound up in prison. And I, somehow we sort of kept a little bit of contact going. And, 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 and Jamie, when he come back to church, he never quit after he got back in church. Born again! Born again! Born again! Come on, come on, come on. Woo! Come on, I'm telling you, born again of water and the Spirit. Woo! Hallelujah! 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 Come on, I'm going to tell you something. The world can't do this for you. The world can give you a lot of programs to get you off of a lot of things, but they can't put the incorruptible seed in you. I said they can't put the incorruptible seed in you. Woo. Have we got one more picture? Have we? They laughing at y'all. Can you believe these church folks are laughing at y'all? I just wish I'd had Jamie's up here. That'd have been rolling all over this floor, wouldn't it? Look at that. 
There he is. We get back to y'all. We're going to rub it in them too, ain't we? Look at this. Mm, we're not going to tell you how far back he was. We don't have to tell you how far back he was, but we can tell you how far he came. Got a beautiful wife. Look at all the, how many, how many of you girls belong to them? How many of you stand up? How many girls belong to them right here? Come on, stand up, girls. Come on, come on, come on. Look at this, look at this, look at this. No, there's another one back there. No telling how many more they've already brought to church. I'm here to tell you, God's able to do it again. I said, he'll do it again. That looks pretty good right there, don't it? My, 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 my. He brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light. I could, I could, I could, I could name a whole bunch more here tonight. Ashley, I'm not going to say much about you. I wish I had a picture of you when you was out yonder. No, I don't, huh? But you know what she's doing? She don't miss church. She's sitting right up here. She don't just sit up here. She gets and puts her hands in the air. She walks around here up front. She's praying for some more people because God put an incorruptible seed. He made her of an incorruptible seed. Woo! Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Put that other in back of these people over here, whoever they are. How old was you, Brother Van Zandt? In that picture? Yeah, in that picture. Probably 36. 36. You're not much older than that now, are you? <laughs> How old is he now? 85, no. 36 years old. How long was you out there in the world? Up to what age? When did you get in church? What time did you get in church? Between two or three years, about 40, 38 or 40 years old. You're way out there, folks. You're strung out there on whatever. But I'm telling you, God changed his life. He was born again. Come on, let me say, oh, look at that. Oh, and it gets sweeter as the days go by. Come on now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if you can run. Oh, yes, he can run. Look at this. My God's able, my God's able, my God's able to bring you through, to bring you up. My God, come on. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Woo. Marvel not, stand with me. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. Mm. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the Washing of regeneration. Titus, Titus 3 5. Washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. Not one time, not just two times, but over and over. Brother Heath, there you are. I found you. Come here. Come here just a minute. You was hiding behind Greg. I've, uh, Craig, I found you. You know what? Where did you come from to New Albany? What kind of church? Uh, Baptist church. Baptist church. Great folks. Wonderful people. But he was way out there, wasn't he? How far out? What? No, no, you don't even have to know. We don't even need to know. 
had, had uh, an evangelist over at New Albany. Brother Heath, did they teach you a Bible study? What happened? Yeah, we've done a Bible study. Got a Bible? Yeah. Go ahead. It's all right. Done a Bible study. Next thing, baptized in what name? In Jesus' name. Woo. What happened next? I came up speaking in tongues. Came up talking in tongues. Born not of incorruptible seed, but corrupt. I mean corruptible seed, but incorruptible seed. Born again. Woo. Born again. Hallelujah. Just a few days ago, brother, he said, I won't talk to you. I said, okay, nine o'clock in the morning or 10, whatever time it was. And he come out here and we began to pray or begin to talk to each other, see what God would do. Prayed a little bit, I think, too, didn't we? And you know what? He said, I feel better now about myself. Is that, am I telling it right? Than I felt in a long, long time. You know what? I'm preaching to Brother Heath tonight. I'm preaching the same thing to you. You don't get this Holy Ghost just one time. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We need renewed day by day. Again. How many? Again. How many? Again. How many? Again. Again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Oh, yeah, no, no, but shall tell you about Christ. Somebody ought to let loose right now. Wherever you're standing, you ought to let loose and go ahead and talk in tongues. Come on, yeah, but shall tell you about Christ. Woo! Yeah, tell you about Christ. Tell you about Christ. Tell you about Christ. Tell you about Christ. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let loose. Go ahead. Again. 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 Again, 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 he came home from church. I don't know what he, what was it, Pat? 11, 12 years old. And then had one of them good services. People praying all over the place, I suppose. And he prayed through again. He come home, told his mama. He said, I got the Holy Ghost again. He said, the 42nd time. Yeah. Woo, come on. You don't just get the Holy Ghost and talk in tongues one time. You can talk in tongues over and over and over. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on y'all. Come on, talking in tongues over and over and over again. Come on, let's get it again tonight. Let's get it again. Spirit moving all over me, and there's no doubt I've been redeemed. 
Everybody gets it again. Come on. Everybody gets it again. Come on. I want to be born again, again. I want to get the Holy Ghost again. I want to talk in tongues again. All over this place. Pick out somebody. If it's your wife, if it's your husband, if it's your friend standing by, if it's appropriate, lay hand on them and you pray through and they pray through. All at the same time. Come on. Come on. One on one. Yeah, 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 ba, ba, ba. Step in, step in, step in, step in. 
He's coming again. I'm in that again, folks, aren't you? I'm in that again, bunch of people. Amen, amen. 